I'm Troy Kirby with my Edmonds News with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. On Thursday, January 28th, the Senate Labor, Commerce, and Tribal Affairs Committee gave Senate Bill 5172 a public hearing. The legislation would cap retroactive overtime claims in exceptional cases. This is basically just a matter of fairness. Uh, as with the dairy workers or the dairy farmers, uh, they, they operated the last three years under the laws that were there and the interpretation of those laws. They did everything that they knew they were supposed to do and they did it uh, fairly and correctly and honestly and met, the, met all those standards. And now because there's been an interpretation uh, they're saying, well, now you got to go back three years and pay overtime pay. Uh, that's not fair. That's not equitable. Uh, it, it just seemed to be very unjust to me because nobody knew it. The issue raised by this bill is an issue that will be addressed in our ongoing court case. The court that decides this issue will use the already well-established standard that includes whether the decision would produce a substantially inequitable result. So we should let the courts do their job and decide this issue. In the past month, at least 25 lawsuits have been filed against farmers by attorneys attempting to collect three years of past overtime that was not owed in the first place. Farmers are now being sued for not breaking the law. We employ over 35 people on our farm and we are not opposed to overtime. We just want to make that clear. We actually started paying some form of overtime in 2015. And in 2020, we started a 55 hour week because we watch what's going on in California and New York with overtime and agriculture. We urge you to be in favor and pass this bill 5172 because it's not fair that we followed the law all the way through. And now we're supposed to go back and pay almost a million dollars of overtime when it was never something that was that we had to do on our farm. That while this bill is spurred by a decision affecting uh, agriculture, it also matters in other parts of the business community. So two back of the napkin um, payouts I'd like you to consider. The first is in agriculture where the average uh, hourly rate is $17 an hour. That would equate to $64,000 a worker for an overtime payout at three years. And in a firefighting situation, that would equate to a $71,000 per firefighter, fighter, firefighter payout. In both instances, 30% of that would go to the class action lawyer who filed the lawsuit. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by My Edmonds News, covering the 2021 legislative session.